So we As the world marks 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, a 21-year-old mother of two from Kamech Aldai in Nandi County bears the brunt of it all. Nelly Jepkeme, a mother of two, lost her limbs suffered deep cuts on her shoulder and leg following an attack by her brother-in-law back in 2019. Nelly now entirely depends on her husband as she cannot carry out any chores on her own. Though her tormentor was jailed for uh, 105 years, Nelly feels he deserved more, perhaps a death sentence. The 6th of June 2019 is Nelly Jepke May's darkest day of her life following an attack that changed her life permanently. She was only 19. She recalls she was headed to a nearby shop when she was accosted by her brother-in-law, identified as Collins Kiplimo, who was wielding a machete and mercilessly descended on her, chopping off her limbs at the wrist, chest, shoulders, and backside. <laughs> The mother of two was left unconscious only to wake up at the Kapsabit County Referral Hospital. <laughs> This car's forever painting what she was undergoing and cannot now perform any chores on her own. <laughs> her husband Douglas Ruto now taking over everything, balancing between domestic chores and menial jobs to fend for his young family. <laughs> The trauma she says impedes her from ever forgiving her tormentor who pleaded guilty to grievous assault and he was jailed for 105 years. To her, it is not enough. <laughs> Nelly is now appealing to well-wishers to help her acquire prosthetic hands so as to ease her husband the burden of house chores and also restore her shape. Alan Ochanda, KTN News.